Assalamualaikum, welcome, good evening, welcome everybody. This is Jackie from Dhaka. As per regular, we are here to discuss on water chemistry. I appreciate you all. Thank you very much. I'm very glad to have you all and having me for this discussion continuously. Today, uh, day 37. Uh, we started from the very first day of lockdown and uh, by the support of you all I can continue this session up to 37 days as a non-stop. Assalamu alaikum Kasif, welcome, welcome in water chemistry, hope everybody is doing good. So I am just waiting to connect more people and by the time I like to uh, watch the music and just uh, for a, a couple of one two minutes then I will start the discussion so today's discussion the continuation of bacteria so let's uh, discuss uh, uh, start the song then uh, we can uh, start our discussion thank you all just wait and enjoy the song thank you Welcome everybody, welcome Liton, Arif and uh, many more and uh, thank you for connecting me and giving a very long fashion sustainable time. Today is a day 37 so we completed one month and seven day continuously. This is a very good achievement. Thank you very much everybody and today as per discussion we will discuss uh, water chemistry and internal treatment as continue we are discussing internal treatment part of the water treatment. And internal treatment, we focus the basic things that we face problem like BCS. We call it is a biological and biofouling problem, corrosion and scaling problem. 
continuously we are discussing we have finished corrosion we have finished scaling we are discussing biological problem and we discuss that all the problem of internal treatment is interrelated it's come one after another so it, we have to be understand every step every process and we have to design a synergic and integrated treatment program so that our treatment becomes successful so we discussing the b and biological problem we with different biological problem like we classified them as a fouling and we discuss very detail on fouling then we discuss organism what are the organism that can create our problem and we know the organism are algae bacteria fungi and legionella for our major part and we have finished discussion on algae fungi and uh, we started discussion on bacteria yesterday we talked a bit on bacteria so today on the continuation we are still going to work on bacteria walaikum assalam shakil mahmud thank you very much so if we see we, we we discuss a bit about the bacteria the different group of a bacteria for a couple of minutes i just review them we understand that there are a major five category of bacteria that is a very common in our system especially cooling water system where temperature is 40 to 45 degree maximum and we found the favorable temperature for these five group of bacteria is 20 to 40 degree centigrade and the pas we found majorly 4 to 8 and especially the critical bacteria like sulfur bacteria they can grow ph 0.6 to 6 and some other bacteria they can sustain very longer wide range of ph and we also discuss individual every type of bacteria yesterday today we uh, discuss continuation from the slide that we finished yesterday is the metabolism and growth requirement thank you mominul islam for connecting and thank you kamal pasha abul hussain and arif ahmed many more if you have any concern any question by the time you can ask me i try to uh, explain it also so that topics topics we discussed now the metabolism and growth requirement we have started yesterday every organism like bacteria to grow to to complete their mechanism or to metabolism process they need some organic source and especially it can be any form of carbon but the more organic compound organic content inside any system the biological growth will be more and that is kind of carbon source so it can come from any any living non-living things so sir, sunlight we just discussed uh, yesterday also the sunlight especially for bacteria it's not mandatory it's not mandatory but if sometime bacteria can grow in sunlight sometime bacteria can grow without sunlight so that's why bacteria can grow in open cooling system as well as closed cooling system as well as underground system as well as many other areas so for year yes for some bacteria called aerobic they need year some bacteria does need year that is called anaerobic so sometime oxygen become toxic for them so for year it's a multiple yes no yes no and some bacteria can grow in both condition with oxygen without oxygen and if we see the ph most of the bacteria favorable ph is 4 to 9 and optimum is 6 to 7.5 but some bacteria can grow ph less than one also and that sulfur bacteria we discussed yesterday temperature we already understand 20 to 40 but 30 to 40 is a very comfortable heaven temperature and from here we understand the cooling system is the heaven for any uh, bacteria or any organism for chemical nutrient we already discussed and we discussed many times that carbon sulfate phosphorus sodium potassium calcium magnesium zinc iron all the things is very good for the bacteria to grow because they consume them for their protein uh, for their uh, dinner lunch morning and they enjoy the buffet the more this kind of carbon organic content and material in the system they can go uh, far grow further and grow very comfortably and by the growth they need enzyme to sustain they keep their structure strong and if they want to take a support uh, strongly so enzyme is requirement so they produce enzyme and they also maintain enzyme level in their structure and body structure to keep them safe as a bodyguard so this up to this we discussed yesterday today we discuss the new topic reproduction of bacteria and this is very very important topic for understanding bacteria and similarly many other organism 
and to control bacteria or organism in system we need to understand their growth pattern then only we can control uh, when we need to dose when we should not dose when chemical and when mechanical uh, treatment or strategy we had to take definitely depends on the growth pattern of the organism and the kind of organism that is available in my system in system specific area location specific area we have to be understand reproductive system so like other like algae like fungi bacteria also grow uh, by can grow by cell division by the process of fission and if you see the left side picture here the parent cell break down one to two two to four four to eight eight to sixteen to thirty two and grow and grow and grow and even they can started their reproduction from the zero time to fifteen to thirty minute even within fifteen minute bacteria can grow a startup like for an adult for a for a human you have to wait maybe 15 18 years to go for reproduction for a gents but for bacteria only 15 minutes so by 15 minutes bacteria become adult enough and they can reproduce and they can grow for next cell so if you have any question any concern you can comment and i'm sure you can hear my screen clearly and you can and hear and, and see my screen also hear my voice and see my screen so i need your uh, your thumbs up that is you can hear me clearly and you can see my screen so appreciate you all for patient uh, listening and today we discuss very important part of the growth of the bacteria to understand the growth pattern and to control them in the system so this is how the bacteria grow if you see the cell division if you see the multiplication if the moisture temperature ph enzyme nutrient and those are available and those are favorable bacteria grow very fast they started growing from the zero time to 15 minute and they can grow 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 so the growth pattern is a uh, very much uh, peculiar and very much standardized also for different kind of bacteria so you need to understand this also if you see the below picture here at the zero minute at the zero minute the only one bacteria cell the called parent cell within 20 minutes or within 15 minutes they started reproduction so can consider within 20 minutes only if something not kill them if toxicity not higher so bacteria start reproduction by 20 minutes and average so if it is 20 minute reproduction then 40 minutes is every 20 minutes they reproduce and they multiply 1 to 2 2 to 4 4 to 8 to 16 to 32 and more and more and if you see the bacteria by 10 hour by 10 hours they can come 1 billion cell unbelievable and this is the growth pattern of the bacteria by 10 hours they can convert 1 billion cell so damaging so devastating and so important also because uh, in natural uh, natural way if you think in different way if bacteria not available in bacteria can grow this so fast the universal many things become imbalanced so that's why the creator the almighty keep this kind of organism to balance the universe so sometimes it's helpful for us sometimes it is bad for us for cooling system yes it is a, if the is the amount is very high it can create problem if amount is low even the present they usually do not create problem so we can't make zero at a cooling system or in general water body unless it is portable or drinking water we can't make the bacteria zero but we need to make in a certain amount so that that amount should be is a minimum enough so that it does not create any problem so in cooling system creating bacteria level zero is not the target why the things is within every 10 hours if they become billion cell and if you want to continue to kill them at a zero level is amazing you have money you have to spend all the money in the bio side so you can't do that and even bio side also can't work all the time because bacteria when they understand this bio side is killing so they have their self guard system and they become registered to that bio side and that's why even you dose higher 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 amount even though bacteria will not die and they have different strategy they can go for a dormant phase they can become a study we discussed they can become sporous and once they become sporous 
the spore outside shell is so different so any biocide cannot destroy it and uh, so that they can survive and once the biocide level goes down again they started after 20 minute production so if you see the curved left side how bacteria grow one to two to four and and then if you see the timeline every 20 minute the multiplication and if you consider 15 or 20 or 30 minute even depending on the cons the protein depending on the nutrient present depending on the temperature and especially if you consider cooling water system the temperature pa is nutrient everything is heavenly so there is a no restriction actually they live is a heaven place and they enjoy and they reproduct very seriously but there are some issues that create their problem and that's why we have to be understand the population dynamics so that is the growth pattern of a bacteria and organism in any system and if we understand the growth pattern that we call population dynamics and that is the graph you can see in the screen especially when bacteria started to grow they started grow in different phases and all the phases uh, as per discussion as per analysis as per research scientists or microbiologists they divided the bacteria growth phase especially in four phases and the phases are we call lag phase log phase stationary phase and death phase i am sure you can see my screen so anyone uh, right uh, what are the phases here i need to you can see and write, but I need to check uh, your participation. So what are the phases? I just talk and I just told right now. There are four phases of population dynamics or bacteria growth cycle. First one is lag phase, then log phase, then stationary phase, and then death phase. So I'm sure you can hear me and you can see my screen. So I request you write in comment the phase name so that i understand you are participating and you are attending attentively listening my uh, discussion thank you and appreciated your support if you please write so if you see the bacteria growth pattern there is a lag phase and this lag time that we discuss the bacteria start reproduction after 20 minutes thank you kasif thank you very much so bacteria start after 20 minutes. So the first 20 minute bacteria does not grow fast. Or what about the amount? Even if I see the one bacteria remain. So one bacteria remain as a one first 20 minute. So this 20 minute is lag phase. Thank you. Thank you Asif Iqbal, uh, Kasip and thank you very much. I said glad to have you in my uh, session. Thank you very much. So the lag phase the phase where bacteria number become minimum and it's not the zero thank you momenal islam thank you so the things lag phase does not mean it is zero lag phase is the minimum number of bacteria means still they are not started mass reproduction still they are not started mass multiplication like one 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 if i have 10 bacteria in the system so it is a 10 right now so that is called lag phase but one the time crosses like 20 minute crosses for the 10 bacteria they started multiplication immediately 10 become 20 and 20 become another 20 so it's become something like this so 20 to 40, 40 to maybe 80. So this growth very fast and the log phase is started. And if you see the graph here, the lag phase is very flat, no growth for certain time. But after crossing the lag phase, I'm sure you can see my uh, cursor on the screen. After finishing the lag phase, bacteria growth boom. They just grow, 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 grow and achieve a certain level. And that total area is called log phase that means the growing phase this is a takeoff phase they increasing their number and they increasing increasing crazily and that is the phase is called lag phase and they grow the maximum level and this is high potential area bacteria are very much a reproductive area even you do uh, thank you very much thank you golab krishna Gopala Krishna, thank you. Gopala Krishna, thank you. So uh, once it reaches at the peak level, 
then like uh, like uh, you can see the uh, in bangladesh uh, rohingya so rohingya when it started to come it come 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 and become very peak time peak area now they become like a very and uh, big number so when the number is very high relatively the nutrient the environment available space many things now become less uh, comfortable for them like bangladesh like dhaka city very high population and once population is very high like a peak time of the uh, farm gate area where the peak time no buses is there but lot of people they rush to ride a bus so there are a lot of things is uncomfortable discomfortable so that area bacteria does cannot go for production so the number is very high but they become stationary phase and they you can say this area is equilibrium state equilibrium is means some bacteria may reproduce here but some bacteria also get died here so the equal number of bacteria reproduce and similar time on the same time equal number of bacteria get died so the live bacteria here is equilibrium so no more growth so no more positive increase so the time being this time is called stationary phase and after the stationary phase usually the bacteria get died and many bacteria get died still there is some uh, bacteria reproduction is there but number of reproduction is less than number of died so here the total number of bacteria getting less with the passage of time and this phase is called death phase so guys i think uh, you get my idea i try to explain in very uh, very easily but if you have any question you can ask but this is very very important and this process is all the time bacteria is present you see the here is the zero but still bacteria does not make zero bacteria is always there and they all are in equilibrium phase but here the number of growth number of bacteria increase drastically this is the log phase and at that stage bacteria grow is very uh, equilibrium condition equal number of died and equal number of new bacteria come up so they become stagnant there is no number increase and after a certain time if this process is continue unless until environmental change unless until more nutrient come unless until this area change they started become died this is the general uh, population dynamic or bacteria growth pattern or kind of any organism growth pattern you can see same growth pattern for algae also so that's why i discussed this very uh, with taking some time because this pattern is we need to be understand very clearly uh, then only we can understand the bacteria control mechanism so if you see here and practical scenario for any any like consider for a cooling water system in this area always there will be mixture of organism and and we know that there are the, there are the thousand million types of bacteria we just categorize five group of bacteria for our discussion so here it depending on the site depending on the location different kind of bacteria they are a mixture we can find any system only single kind of bacteria so multiple kind of bacteria maybe 10 20 100 times of bacteria maybe thousand times of types of bacteria is available in the system so bacteria always in a mixture or always in a uh, multiple kind they work together grow together stay together and they also help each other also in some way or in some mechanism so when they grow very much at that that phase when for because of the surviving for the lag and log phase log phase they help each other very much in stationary phase also they help each other very much but at the death phase they kill each other also because at the survival phase sometime sometime they try to kill others and to survive their self so they have become very selfish like any living being so that's why we have to be understand the bacteria this dynamics is very clearly and if we understand the phases we can design our control mechanism also so if you like to understand more on this because this is very important if you see the important phase of bacteria growth is log phase 
and log phase increasing the exponentially the bacteria number and that time the nutrition demand the system environment required very very favorable so this log time is more favorable and more faster when ph is very favorable like ph is near about 7 point something or 6.5 to 7.5 this area or uh, below 8.5 or something so this is very uh, good area and uh, this area nutrate if, if, if system have heavy organic or if system contaminated some external nutrient or system have high tds or system of high turbidity or other things so they allow them to grow but most of the system if it is a fouled so they stay here they stay here and uh, they stay as a stationary phase so equal number of bacteria grow and equal number of bacteria dry and if the system is stay here so they, then we, we it's a very foul system already for any bacteria system if we allow them for any system if we allow them to come up here means the time that required the lag time and the log time if we allow the bacteria to add that level of number of bacteria at that level and then if we try to control here the system will be always dirty system will be always under fouling system will be always uh, tricky and heat exchanger will be always under fouling and the biocide requirement always will be very high and biocide will be insufficient under dose and if we count bacteria we will get a bacteria 10 to the power 7 8 10 we can't control here at that level we can't control bacteria below like uh, record 10 to the power 4 or 10 to the power 3 level as our, our expectation so usually depending on the growth pattern we also have to be design at the dosing frequency especially i will discuss later the treatment but still just a, a remember to why we need to understand this very critically to control the organism problem in any water body we need to understand the growth pattern if we want to control here like in log phase it will be very difficult the consumption of any chemical will be very high the chance of failing or chance of um, uh, inefficiency of the biocide will be very high if we try to control here this is very good if we control here it is very good if we control at the lag phase if we control at the lag phase and if we control always the lag phase or we, if we can increase the lag phase time then only my system will be clean my system will be less biofouling my system other problem will be less so you have to be very careful and very detailed understanding regarding the growth dynamics regarding all this pattern and very easy and very comfortable very effective only when we can control our load of number of cell of number of organism at the lag phase and we've always like to bacteria like to go here and using the chemistry or using the control using the strategy of treatment we like to get down all the time the number of cell is here so we like to stay always like here we don't allow to go here so this is the control mechanism we will discuss later but the growth pattern is very important for us for for more understanding i call these four phases first one is adjust phase that means the first leg phase leg phase we, i call them is adjust phase welcome machine by thank you very much in adjust phase bacteria try to understand the dynamics of the system try to understand the environment nutrient available try to try to search a location for their shelter for as a home like a for human being without having a good home even the people don't have home even they have a tent in the road they like to have some kind of nest some kind of home to go sit down and reproduction so that time we call the lag phase and the adjustment phase and for uh, me i discussed this part log phase is called the growth phase and rapid cell division and at this phase basically number is already out of control like the, during the corona period we found many of the area within the lockdown lot of people gathering and uh, the, 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 uh, the law enforcing agencies tell this is become out of control they, they can't control they can enforce their laws because so many people come together now no law enforcing work does not work so similarly for 
bacterial growth for organism growth once it is started this uh, growth phase if we want to protect if you want to control or put any law and put to restrict their growth actually the efficiency will not come out we fail so that's why every time we have to focus the efficiency at the adjust phase or by means bacteria should not understand all everything environment before understanding everything settle down we must kill them and reduce the number so that they always become uh, on the searching for their settlement and then only we can control our bacteria in the system and we can control or minimize the pattern of the uh, biofouling pattern of the thank you Jubai Roshid thank you pattern and con and the number of the colony number of the bacteria welcome Jubai Roshid Salamu Alaikum so if you see the equilibrium phase equilibrium phase is the phase where the all the biocide is actually fail because there is a total blanket the biofouling is there huge number of bacteria always in the system now biocide is not working but bacteria is at equilibrium phase and they die and they grow they die and they grow and after certain area bacteria does not grow much but the fouling system the the slime the 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 exhaust of the bacteria the enzyme secret of the bacteria and that already damaged the system and that already create a very thick blanket that already foul the system so if you now you want to dose biocide it will not work the biocide is become OSS because already blanket is heavy blanket is there so biocide can kill the bacteria it just try to kill the top layer of the bacteria where under the beneath of the surface of the fouled area lot of bacteria always surviving and they grow and dry grow and die so for any region we have to be control the bacteria growth at adjustment phase that is lag phase or if we stand any time or any system this kind of phase like a stationary phase always preferable go first mechanical cleaning then try to introduce any chemical treatment for the staying the lag phase so unless until we control bacteria at the lag phase any system we can't control we can't control fouling we can't control biofouling we can't control corrosion at the desired level so if you see furthermore and uh, and this is uh, that's all for today's discussion the how do bacteria grow in the system and uh, tomorrow we'll discuss uh, more about their uh, count how we can measure the bacteria and how we can understand the different kind of effect of bacteria and how we can control them later on bacteria is one of the vital uh, critically important uh, element for any success of any cooling system if we control the organism control the fouling we can control the corrosion we can control the scaling because this failure of organism or failure of uh, biological part of any system it's the it's the accelerate the other part of the system it accelerate the other problem in the system so that's why if we want to control the system clean if you want to keep the system clean we need to understand very clearly the organism biofouling fouling and then easily we can control corrosion scaling and other part so guys if you have any question you can ask me if you have any feedback you can give me you can write criticism also tomorrow we will discuss again from here we try to discuss some more about the bacteria because i i am getting more classes on bacteria because this is one of the critical area if we can control this in any especially cooling system we can control other part of the area we can control scaling we can control scaling we can fouling biofouling deposition so uh, any question you can ask me you can ask later also i can discuss so thank you very much for connecting in the ramjan very tight and pandemic time by the time you stay strong you stay happy keep me praying and you also keep uh, praying for uh, to allah to so he allah can forgive us and allow us to uh, survive his tongue and that's all for today thank you good night and salamu alaikum take care of yourself see you tomorrow 10 30 pm by the time you stay strong i request you will please share it to your friends and your colleagues and industry people so they also can be benefited from this uh, lecture thank you very much salamu alaikum and good night